of our shop. This is Blaze the movie fan, and there is one thing that has been pissing me off lately that I have to talk about. And that is when people treat the Disney live action remakes like the root of all evil. When I go to YouTube and Facebook, I constantly see videos and Facebook updates talking about how the live action adaptations of the animated Disney movies are ruining everything. And frankly, I'm sick of hearing that in videos and reading it on Facebook. So in this video, I am gonna address it. Now I'm not gonna say any names to the people who talk on Facebook or even explain what videos I'm getting this from because calling people out is not the intention of this video. The intention of this video is to argue with stupid points. With that being said, let's begin. The most common point that I hear is that the Disney company only cares about money. And those live action adaptations are proof of that. Now it is true that the Walt Disney Company mainly cares about the money. But so what? It's not a bad thing in the slightest. And it's very stupid to treat it as such. The Walt Disney Company is a production company. And what's the main intention of a production company? That is to make money. That's how most companies fucking work. The fact that they mainly care about the money doesn't make them evil or anything like that. In fact, companies need money to stay on float. If you understood how business works, you wouldn't think of them mainly caring about the money as a bad thing. Oh, and furthermore, the Disney company mainly caring about the money isn't some new thing that happened decades after Walt Disney himself passed away. The company was also like that back when he was alive. Walt Disney was mainly a businessman. He produced a lot of the movies to make money. I mean, it's not that hard to grasp. And some people are saying that he is rolling in his graves right now because the Disney company now mainly cares about the money. I'm sorry, but no, that's just wrong. He's not rolling in his grave. If he was alive today, he would be very damn proud of his company. Why the hell wouldn't he? It's one of the most successful production companies in the world. If I was in his shoes, I would be proud as hell. Furthermore, back when Walt Disney was alive, his company wasn't some golden company that could do no wrong. People who ignore all the bad movies made by Disney and only focus on the good ones are clearly blinded by nostalgia. Because there are many bad Disney movies made back when he was alive. The perfect example of what I'm talking about is Song of the South. That movie is infamous for being blatantly racist. And guess what? It was also considered blatantly racist even back when it was new. So that proves my point that the Disney company was never a perfect company that could do no wrong. Oh, and I also have a problem with people who claim to be big fans of animation, yet they aren't willing to give the live action adaptations a fair chance. I'm sorry, I don't buy that you are a true fan of these animated movies. I know it might seem harsh, but let me ask you something. If you truly were a fan of animation, and consider animation a true art form, why would you jump to the conclusion that those live action adaptations are ruining these movies and not even give them a fair chance? A true fan of something would be open-minded. Now look, I'm not saying that you have to like them, but at least give them a fair chance. Don't think that they're gonna suck only because they're live action adaptations. Also, wouldn't it make sense to want to see something new done with the movies that you love. I mean, I sure as hell would love to see that. I mean, live action is a totally different medium from animation, but it still can work. Now look, don't take this the wrong way. I am not saying you have to like those movies, far from it, but at least give them a first chance. That's all I'm saying. Now the next movie that I would like to talk about is the new Aladdin movie that was released this year. And I know that many people didn't like the movie. Let me make one thing perfectly clear. I don't have an issue with people not liking the movie. That is fine. If you don't like it because you think it did everything wrong that the original one did right, that is fair. I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem with, however, is when people assume that it is a cash grab that was only made for the money. Come on, you can tell just by watching the movie that there was at least an attempt at making it fun. You can't watch it and tell me that there was no effort into making it a good movie. So no, I don't buy that it's a cash grab that was just made for the money. 
But the dumbest controversy regarding this movie, which never should have been a fucking controversy to begin with, is when people came to the conclusion that the genie looks awful in the new Aladdin movie. Fucking months before the movie was even released. What the hell did you expect? Live action and animation are two totally different mediums. And the genie looks exactly like he would look like in live action. I honestly don't know how he could have looked better in live action. He looks as good as he can look in live action. And even then, how a character looks should it matter. What should matter more is the personality. He at least tried to have his own unique style instead of trying to mimic Robin Williams. Whether or not he is good as the genie is all a matter of opinion, but the fact that he tried to be unique still stands. And I'm sure that Robin Williams would be very damn proud if he was still alive today. Oh, and at the top of everything that you see it, I can think of much worse remakes, but it's obvious that no effort was put into at all. And those are the horror movie remakes. They are far worse than any of the Disney remakes. And Nightmare on Elm Street from 2010 and Halloween from 2007 are prime examples of that. There isn't even an attempt to make those movies good. And they are very terrible movies because of that. And the top of butchering everything that made the original movies great. They also fail massively as standalone movies. No effort was put into those movies at all. And I can prove that the director of Halloween 2007 didn't fucking care. Since in 2009 he made a sequel of that movie, which is one of the worst horror movies of all time. Oh, and I will be doing a spoiler movie review of that movie in October, so look out for that. Now, as I have made clear, I fucking hate the Beauty and the Beast remake. But I can still say that it's better than any of the horror remakes. But I know why? Because with that movie, I can at least see an attempt to make it good. That movie tried something new from the original animated classic. And it at least tried to improve on some things. Now, of course, it failed massively. But I can see that it at least tried. And I can give it credit for that. Which is something that I can't say about horror remakes such as Halloween and The Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean Beauty and the Beast is one of the worst movies of the decade. But my point that there was at least an attempt to make it good still stands. I pretty much feel the same way about The Lion King. It is a horrible movie, one of the worst movies of the decade. But I can see that the attempt of making a good movie is still there. Now how do I know that there is an attempt to make it good? Because it's directed by John fucking Ferrero, the same guy who made Iron Man. So this guy knows what the hell he is doing for the most part when it comes to directing movies. And I genuinely believe that he cares about the art of filmmaking. Which makes it very disappointing that the movie turned out the way it did. But yeah, the director of the movie is great. And even though I fucking hate the new Lion King remake, I can at least see an attempt. Now there are two guys that I'm gonna give big credit to. And they are guys who were actually fair on the Aladdin remake. I mean neither Jeremy Jones or Chris Stockman were big fans of the Aladdin remake. And even though I disagree with them, I can't tell that they were being fair. They didn't have the mindset that the movie would suck only because it's a live action remake. They were fair and made very good points about the movie for the most part. Well, at least Chris Stockman did. Jeremy Jones really didn't, but my point that he was fair still stands. So kudos to them. If everyone was as fair as they are, that would be so fucking awesome. So there you have it. Now look, you don't have to like the live action Disney adaptations. If you hate them because you hate the characters, the story and so on, that is fair. However, what I am saying is, don't have the mindset that they are gonna suck only because they are Disney live action adaptations. And don't accuse Disney of ruining everything because of those movies. Thinking like that is a very toxic mindset. And the movie film community on the internet and not just YouTube would be a lot better off without toxicity. That's all I'm saying. Thank you for watching and have a great day.